What's up everybody, Venom here with a quick guide on World of Warcraft Dragonflight. Let's get right into it. This is going to be for step two in the Mimirans Jump Jets event for Secrets of Azeroth. If you do not want any spoilers for this content and you would like to do all of these clues on your own, then I suggest you do not watch this video because I will be going step by step on how to complete step number two in order to unlock the secret mount. With that said, let's continue. Today we are going to start near Gadget Zan, and again you are going to need other people in order to complete this step. Now I was lucky enough to have other people present. They were there for this step, so I did not have to worry about it. And with that said, if you have three, four people that you can bring with you, awesome. If you do not, then I suggest hoping for the best when you get to the final step. The difference between these steps and all of the other events is that you can skip directly to the last step. You do not have to find all of the clues in this guide that I'm going to provide. You can skip directly to the last clue, which I will put again in the timestamps below for you to click on and just skip right to. If you don't want to find all the Easter eggs, you can skip right to the end to get the booster part. With that said, let's continue. So we're going to Gadget Sand, where we're going to go right here at this crashed little rig on the ground, and that's where you're going to read the first clue, which is going to bring us to Thousand Needles. Now, this one is tedious if you want to do it by yourself. It is going to have a bunch of these little clue scraps on top of all the little pillars and needles in this area that give you a code, and you have to decipher that code, which ends up translating into deep down in the barrens, each of the letters corresponds to a number to solve the puzzle, but it, it, in the end it spells out deep down in the barrens. So we're going to head to Razorfen Crawl, right in front of the instant portal right here. It'll have the clue, which is going to take you to the next area. It's going to say top of, and then the next area brings us to Bale Modan, which is located right here on your map in the barrens. Then it's going to bring us to the Wailing Caverns. We're going to get to the Wailing Caverns, we have to go inside, and all the way to the bottom by the dungeon entrance right here. And all of these put together spell out top of Thunder Peak. Now, there is also a skip to this. Uh, it was kind of funny. If you go to the top of Dreadmist Peak, the clue literally says top of Thunder Peak. Um, you don't have to do that one. It just is literally a skip, which I found very interesting. Um, that one is going to be located right here. So it gives you literally the answer in one clue rather than having to find three. So if you found this one first, congratulations, I did not. With that said, the next clue is going to bring us to Thunder Peak, of course, in Ashenvale. It's going to be at the top of this peak right here where we see the boss. He's giant, very hard to miss. We are going to fly directly behind him and stand on this little area right here and loot the next clue which says blood venom now we remember blood venom falls from one of the satchel quests if you did those so we need to go to blood venom falls which is located in fellwood where we are going to find the fifth clue now this one is going to be on the dock right here and you have to have your thinking cap on um, if you want to do this next part on your own so the fifth clue is going to be right here it's going to bring us to the moon well in whisperwind grove which is going to have the clue right here on top of the moon well and lastly, it is going to bring us to Iron Tree Woods, where you are going to find a water elemental. If he has already been killed, then you will not see him here right now. Um, you need at least four people in the general vicinity to complete this part. We spent probably an hour and a half waiting for the boss to even spawn on our server. There were plenty of people around, but the boss had, I'm assuming, had just been killed, so we had to sit here for quite some time. We ended up using the Dungeon Finder tool to find a group um, who was on a different, you know, set of servers. So we ended up swapping over, and he was there, and uh, there were plenty of people there in that group to kill him. Now, in order to kill him, it's a little bit different. Four people have to get sucked into his little whirlpool, which it takes a couple of tries. You just keep jumping at him. Um, he'll eventually suck you in, but once four people get sucked in um he will end up blowing up and exploding basically and drop that second booster part anyone that is in the vicinity of this when this occurs can loot that booster part you do not have to be a part of the encounter from what i can tell in order to loot the second booster part but with that said, that's all you do. You loot the second booster part once he explodes, and then you're ready for step number three, which is the final step to getting this mount. And that's gonna do it for today's guide. If you like the video, then like the video. And if you like my content in general, then please subscribe to my channel as it means the absolute world to me. And I will see you in the next one.
बाय